All right, all right. I think everything's working. Let's uh, check my audio. Boom, boom. What's up, everyone? Welcome, welcome. Give me one second to set up. If anyone's in here, I think no one's in here, so we're good. <laughs> um, I uh, I pretty much been asleep since I got home from work, so I figured before I start editing videos and get on some other stuff, um, let's see if I can't play like an hour or two of a game and tucker myself out because I actually got to be back at work in the morning, and I know if I start editing and stuff, that'll that'll turn into like four, five, six hours of work. And I figured maybe if I could just tire myself out with a quick video game and um, and just kind of tap myself out mentally, maybe that'll help out, help me go to sleep. So we're going to try that. But let me just double check my, assuming it'll let me, because uh, sometimes when I'm running both the computer and the, the PS4, like I don't have a, I have an Ethernet going to one, but for some reason the Wi-Fi slows down. Um, on the other. All right, cool. Cool. So I'll pause that. So, yeah, perfect. Hey, there are actually people in here. Hello, everyone. We're going to get started right now. I'm not going to F around. I think we only played about an hour last night. And we fought a boss. We fought like our first boss. But we still don't have enough power to open level two doors. So. So we got to go back downstairs. So I don't know this game well. I don't know it like I do Resident Evil and things like that. So uh, if I get lost or I do a little turnaround, like, I apologize. Oh, what up? And in case you missed the first playthrough, basically we play as Somonosuke here. And he has a friend named Kaida, and she's running around um, trying to help. Uh, you know, our mission, I guess, of stopping Nobunaga. And apparently he's after some kind of princess uh, named Yuki, and we're trying to protect her. She's like the key to something. So that's what we're doing. And we have this gauntlet that helps us absorb souls, which is pretty dope. I guess I shouldn't have cut that rope. Um, that was totally an accident, but... Yeah, so there's something down there. Um, how do we get down there? What's up, dude? Yikes. Oh! What? He sliced up. Got me with that reverse slice. Um, do I have? Okay. It'll automatically work if needed. Where's the room underneath? Maybe this is it. Ooh. Boom! Suck it, Trebek. There were demons out here fighting like normal people. Let's go look for... Whoa! Missed this the first time. What's up? Uh, Zombie Oat says, can't stay long. About to play some games with some friends, but just wanted to say what's up, homie. Hey, dude. Thanks for popping in. Um, man, have fun. Whatever game you're playing. Oh, what the... Strange man is silently staring at you. Okay. He sure was. Nothing weird about that. <laughs> uh, no problem, man. Have a good night, dude. If you gotta go, no problem. Oh. Take that, dude. Boom, 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 boom. Can we, we can't open. 
open this yet though, right? No, I don't want the uh, what how do I equip? Yeah. Well, not oh man. Still not open at my current level? Alright, fair enough. Uh, thanks, dude. Hope you have fun. Hey, thank you, man. Yeah, it's going to be a chill stream. I imagine that's it's kind of late. I doubt there'll be a lot of people pop in. Um, but that's okay. I'm, uh, I'm cool with just, you know, playing and seeing what happens. And uh, I may not talk much in the stream if there's, if there's not, you know, if nobody's in here. That's okay. Oh, man, you know what? Boom. It's like the only thing that hurts them. Shoot. <laughs> I don't have enough power. What up? Oh, yeah. Let oh, me shoot that. How do we, uh, oh, cool. All right, let's uh, save that for, let's back to the lightning. Block, I hit block. Stupid animation took forever. Wish there was a jump button. I'd love to jump up and stab that mother effer. Oh no, he's got my hand. No. DJ Khaled, and another one. Oh, dang, these guys, man. Take it easy, yo. I wonder if we have to go back down to the caves. Is that how far that um, talisman fell? Oh, come on, another one? Come on, die already. All right, this was inked in red. Why can't we go in? Hey, what's up, Shagadoo? God, I love saying your name. Shagadoo. Nope, that don't work. We'll go back down. If nothing else, we'll just at least level up down here. Um, weapons up so we can get into those doorways. So now we actually got 
Oh wow, we don't have. We're like missing a bunch of files. Yeah, we're just gonna do some backtracking. If I figured nothing else, we'll level up. Uh, maybe I missed a room back here. I don't know. Hello, oh, ten books away from every symbiote. Ever then they had to do this retroactive new sword thing and now Killmonger too. <laughs> no necro sword thing. Yeah. Um, what do we have? Um, I have what uh, the um, I got. I picked up Venom number ten today, and also Venom Unleashed. I guess it was like a one shot thing and uh man they i thought they both sucked <laughs> from a writing standpoint of, of course yeah art was good although i'll i'll be honest i think uh, i think it was kyle hotz who i love his art especially on like carnage mind bomb and it's a wonderful life which came out in the 90s um i was so excited to see who's gonna draw a venom book like a one shot and i was kind of disappointed because I, I felt like uh i i don't know i felt like that was not a good use of his art style. Like, uh, I've, maybe it's because of uh, those two Carnage books, but I just felt like he should do, like, more trippy type stuff. And uh, it was kind of a bummer to see. Hmm. It was kind of a bummer reading them and just kind of being like, ah, like, it was just like a whole issue where, like, Venom was like a dog or something. I was just like, uh, I don't care about this book. Oh, you agree? Yeah. I mean, I'm, I don't know. I, I hate, I hate to continuously sound like a hater on those books. It was funny because someone was like, uh, someone was telling me like in, like in my real life, like outside of like doing videos, they were like, um, wow, you, you are very critical of books. And I go, I can be. And I go, but I am, I know I'm the Venom show, but that doesn't mean I'm going to like love everything just because it has Venom's name on it like I'm I'm still pretty critical and uh, <laughs> and uh, he was just like kind of like well you like the movie how come you don't like the comics and I'm like well because the movie was just like dumb fun kind of and I thought I thought uh, Tom Hardy really committed to the role of Eddie Brock and so seeing that level of commitment for a character like Eddie was just like nice to see and so I appreciated that um, but then like I don't know when you get to uh Oh, that's how we level up. Ah. I'm such a moron. We need to get both of these weapons to level two. Um, man, I completely forgot about the enhancements. So, good thing we came down here, because something jogged my memory. Um, even though we could have done this back up at the, the, the hut. Wow, that takes a lot to juice up. Boom! All right, we got everything to level two. Perfect. Didn't mind 10 so much, purely for the Eddie flashback. Anytime they flesh out a backstory, I'm hesitant but okay with it. Um, you know what's funny about that that backstory um, is uh, is I didn't care for it. <laughs> um, I just did not care for that backstory, like not even a little bit. Uh, the where they were like, oh, Eddie Brock like got into a car. He's like, have you looked up your Aunt Mary? And the kid's like, what? I have an Aunt Mary. And I'm like. And then he's like, yeah, don't worry about it. It's like, what is what does Donny Cates have against uh, Eddie Brock's sister? Like he he seemed it seems like it seems to be like a personal thing because uh, that book like uh, he he didn't mention her at first. He first he said Eddie Brock was an only child, so at first he did kind of retcon her. And then probably because you know me and some other fans, or maybe not me, but just maybe some other fans made some noise about like, hey, he had a sister. What are you talking about? So I feel like he kind of retroactively was like, all right, I'll mention the sister. But uh, but then anytime she gets brought up in conversation, no one has a conversation about her. They just go, oh, Mary. And then they just like move on from the conversation. Um, so uh, 
so this whole backstory they added where Eddie Brock like was a drunk driver and, and killed a kid um, and, it, and it ruined his dad financially and his dad was like a you know he, he couldn't have a scandal on his hands so he he t- convinced Eddie that he was innocent when he was really guilty I mean it, it, it's kind of interesting in the way that it, it does help flesh Eddie's confused you know confusion of innocent and guilty it does help feed that to an extent um, but at the same time it's also like one of those stories where it's like at the detriment it's like oh we're gonna add continuity but we're gonna kind of take away continuity at the same time um, and that's where I kind of like I don't know that's where I kind of rail against Donny Cates' stuff it's it's the majestic seek what's up Lord Pickles quick take a picture of some majestic creature <laughs> boils and ghouls yes boils and ghouls I technically I stole that from uh, Tales from the Crypt he's like uh, the movie he's like hello boils and ghouls he's like tonight I got a tale for you Shagadoo says, yeah, so far all I know is her name is Mary. Yeah, right? You you don't know anything about her character, but she was actually pretty detrimental. I mean, she was pretty um, pivotal in, even though she only showed up in like two stories, but I felt like there was so much more to, story to tell with her. Um, oh, the Red Book. I remember there were other animals that chose a similar fate to Nobunagu. When I remember something, I should write it down. My mind is always so preoccupied, but I shouldn't bother with such trivial matters. I must focus my attention on creating things for our demon species. I will write everything here so I can unburden my mind. The animals were named Genghis something and Alexand... Oh, never mind. The names of animals do not have any meaning for us. These animals fought extensive battles and managed to continue fighting to expand their territories. They are considered extremely heroic and exceptional warriors. That would obviously be Genghis Khan and Alexander the Great. Uh, but in truth, they have offered they offered large numbers of sacrifices to obtain our technology and weapons. Smart animals can conquer the world by making a pact with demons, while the stupid ones simply get sacrificed. It is as they say, in the land of the monkeys, the demon is king. Pretty interesting. I can get behind that, man. You make a lot of sense. <laughs> well, I just, to me, I'm just like, uh, that's my only problem with the uh, with Donny Cates's writing on Venom. It's just like everything he adds. He's also he also takes away at the same time, and I I just don't understand why. Uh, it doesn't make a lot of sense. I'm like, you can just add this stuff, dude. It's like a trick. Can you? Oh, it's got to be locked, unlocked from the other side. Okay. Sorry, by the way, I'll curb the Venom talk for my YouTube comments. Hey, no, dude, we can do it here. This show is called Spitting Venom. Uh, that is what I've decided to call my um, my gaming episodes. So, you're good. You're, you're allowed to talk Venom here. And since I've uh, taken the month off from making videos, you know, I encourage it. Because uh, at least it gets me talking Venom. Although you will see some videos this weekend for Venom Vlog. I know I said I was going to wait till February. But I'm actually going to... I was going to record some tonight. But when I got home from work, I went right to sleep. And then I just woke up a little bit ago. So um, so that's why I'm playing this. And then I'm going to be working on stuff all night. But you'll probably see videos like Friday-ish. All right, so 23 minutes later, we're or 20 uh, minutes later, we're back where we started, but now we can open all these doors. Um, but yeah, no, we can talk Venom stuff. I'm gonna make a review of Unleashed and Venom 10. I'm gonna film those probably tomorrow when I get home from work. And then I also got a new piece of uh, Venom something. I don't want to. I don't want to even hint at what it is. But I'm gonna make a video on that first. It'll be a quick, like you know, four-minute video. Also heard that Princess Yuki raised him as if he were her own brother. Oh, so he stole his way into the castle. The plot thickens. Say, Princess Yuki, why then is Tokuchiro after Yumemaru? Something seems to be going on. Um. So yeah. So you'll probably see like three Venom videos, three or four this weekend, because I might as well go ahead and talk about the Venom sequel being approved. Oh. They came out today and said that obviously Woody Harrelson's Carnage is going to be the Someone main villain. And out. we know the original one of the one of the writers from the first movie is coming back. She um she was hired to do the rewrites, Kelly Marcel. She came in and did like the the last draft of the movie and worked on set with Tom Hardy. Uh, and Tom Hardy had like a lot of admiration for her, so Skate blocks away a sword, can't cut through it. Hmm. 
Really? The, that was the trap? Oh, we gotta... Ah! Oh, God! Ooh, holy armor. Oh, what up? They need to rewrite that wig. <laughs> How have you been? I've been okay, man. I've been alright. How about you? Hanging in there. I'm feeling a little bit better lately. My back's feeling a lot better. Um, work has just been kind of kicking my butt. Um, so normally when I work morning shifts, I that's like I, I prefer evening shifts because then during the morning I can film a bunch of my stuff. I can wake up with energy, film my stuff, and then I go to work and then I come home and maybe spend like an hour to edit and then schedule them to post the next few days. Um, Um, it's too dark, he says. Ooh, uh, fire. There we go. Whoa. Uh, Woody's, yeah, Woody's wig, yeah, they, <laughs> they gotta figure something out. Hopefully he'll just rip it out in the next movie and he'll just be bald. Whoa. How do we uh, switch? Jeez. Any secrets in here? Nope, 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 nope. Okay, we go. He's in quite a predicament. Oh, yeah, yeah right? <laughs> Hopefully this is a room we gotta go to where it has that little shiny thing that we knocked oh. down. Uh oh. You are almost a Kaide sandwich. <laughs> I seem to be trapped. Is there a way you can get out of there? Whoa. Samanosuke, wait there. I will help you. Can we destroy the water wheel? Oh, shoot.
Oh, we got a time limit here. Okay. Can't that go there? Yeah, there we go. Come on, go, turn. Oh, we gotta hold it. Okay. Boom. Woohoo. Um, I hope you know the puzzle because I am not going to be no help for this one. <laughs> Luckily, we figured it out. Took me a minute. To, I thought you said to connect them, but then I saw that little drawing back there. I was like, "Oh, it's got a." I was like, "All right, got it." Hey, thanks, Kada. Are you all right, someone else, Kay? I am now. I was almost a someone else sandwich, made of water. For all the traps. Ah. Okay. We are safe now. I will go search for clues. Fine. You think it would be uncomfortable being in that armor after being dunked in water? <laughs> uh, that's, you know what? Not for a badass. I'll say that much. <laughs> uh, yeah, pot probably. Actually, I don't care how badass you are. Everybody gets mud butt. Yeah, let's climb down real quick, because we can always hopefully climb back up. I can go further down on this ladder. Say it ain't so. Cool. Just going to get a bunch of cool stuff. Just that secret room. Ah, okay. Cool. Great. I'm glad we found that. That way we can get around this place easier, probably from now on. Right, let's go down one more time here. Go down. Go down, Sonosuke. Whoa. Hey, whoa, they're hiding journals now? Oh, great. We found that one by accident. We got a, we, that means who knows how many of these we passed. I didn't know you could just cut, like, a piece of art on the wall. What a wonderful scene. I am very happy to be here. I'm so moved that my hands won't stop trembling. I am witnessing the birth of a demon baby as it is pulled out of the urn. Human blood and evil essence are mixed in the bottle and then a demon is born. What a supernatural sight. No other creature in the world is born this way. Were there were there any artists in history that encountered the scene I've just watched? I wonder. I have never felt so much regret for my poor painting skills. Stop trembling, my dear hand. I am aware that all of the truth I must record completely depends on my hands, but I can't help trembling. Sam, you... So apparently this guy is just like bearing witness as this place was taken over by demons and he's documenting it all with paintings and scripture. Um, man, what is, that's, I gotta be honest, like, cutting that, I was just like, oh, I'll just start swiping my sword at places. Um, I didn't expect to find a little thing. Oh, you know what? Boom. Here we go. Give me Maru. Hey, Samanosuke. We meet again. So, have you decided to serve the Odak clan? Move. Whoa. Be 
is too late for the boy. Hmm. And since you have learned that our Lord Nobunaga will rule the world with the demons, you should not bark up the wrong tree. <laughs> You're insane! What you are doing will lead to innocent people being used as food for the demons. Yeah. The strong will prey upon the weak. Farmers obey samurai, and humans obey demons. You arrogant fool! Our dark ceremony will take place soon. No, it won't, because I'm going to shove this sword straight up your blood. little And when our lord Nobunaga drinks it, the victory of the Oda clan over the Saito clan will be guaranteed. Nope. Oh. See you again, Samanosuke. <laughs> the, the villains in this are pretty telling of like where Capcom was at this time, because uh, I feel like like the goofy villains in this kind of remind me of some of the like one or two of the goofy villains from like the Devil May Cry so maybe not the first game so much but maybe the second game a little uh, and then like Resident Evil 4 where they had like Sadler and Sa uh, not Lord Sadler but Salazar he was like a goofy like a yeah and then they had that Irving guy as well like very over the top the clan subverted has granted a man their power Grudge against a... Okay, so we're starting to piece together that journal. That's good. Finally. Gauntlet ogres created to demons. Supplying power. So yeah, we need these to solve those little puzzles. Oh, dang! Dude was waiting for us. Finally picking up speed on my Sentry and Omega Red collections now. Which one do you think we'll see in the MCU first? I'm kind of leaning toward Omega Red. Um, yeah, that's a great question. I, I would say with the MCU movies being more Avengers focused, I wouldn't be surprised if you saw Sentry. But then again, I feel like bringing him in so soon after like introducing captain marvel who i guess has like a really big i don't know much about that character but apparently she has a a major power set um so uh so it'll be i don't know i don't think they would bring in like another guy character that's like super like thor level power or more you know um So, uh, so Omega Red, I don't, I'll, I'll be honest with you right now. If they do a X-Men 1 movie, they, like, or, like, a new X-Men movie, I hope Omega Red, like, is not too far away. I hope they do, do, uh, that character. I think he was supposed to be in Deadpool, and they cut him. Like, they cut the scene where he was in. But he was supposed to be in the prison with Juggernaut and Black Tom Cassidy. So, uh, yeah. Dang, here's all those journals, the Clan of Ogres. So that's how, oh, we have to, so that's the clan. So we gotta go back and solve that puzzle. Whoa. What? I don't know if we're going to get a chance to go back, so part of me wants to backtrack <laughs> like a little bit and solve those things. Oh man, this is where we're supposed to go? Alright, hopefully we can go back down because there's that door we didn't go through. Whoa. Um, so are you are you like... Because uh, that's, that's an interesting thing actually, Shagadoo. You're saying you're collecting... What are you collecting? Every appearance of Sentry and Omega Red?
Ow. This is not, uh, I'm actually not doing so well with this, with the uh, 3D controls. Dang it, I missed figures. Ooh. Oh, thank goodness. First try. Yes, sir, I put them in chronological order rather than release. That's genius. Um I so my Ghost Rider collection is kind of like that, although um, I don't put it in chronological order, not yet anyway. I'm putting it by release order, but I figure once I reread through all of them, like once the I'm waiting for for me to complete the collection, and once it's complete, I will then put it maybe in chronological order. But I think mostly from release order, it actually is in chronological order. Uh, they didn't really skip around a lot with Ghost Rider. They didn't tell like because he was literally created in like 90, 1990 when he first showed up in Marvel. And so, uh, there's no, like, you know, like, him in World War II, you know, like Wolverine, or, you know, or, like, some backstory with Omega Red, like, with Wolverine. Like, there's none of that. It's, it's pretty much, um, that's pretty much the story. It's, like, it's, like, him linear, in linear fashion. So, uh, so maybe I won't have to, you know, mess with it too much. I tried. <laughs> yeah, Sentry and the Symbiotes are all over the place in that respect. Uh, pretty much, yeah, especially the Symbiote stuff in recent years. Um, you know, they, they definitely try to go back and add a lot of stuff there. So, so yeah, I can imagine those characters are kind of hard to finish because I wanted to do a Sabretooth collection after I finished Ghost Rider. I'm uh, actually a really big fan of Sabretooth from the X-Men uh, and I thought about that too but man that guy's been in so many books and and um, and they take place all over the place. There's stories that take place in the past with him and Mystique, some like more present stuff in the, with him and Mystique. There's uh, him joining X-Factor after he like pretended to have a brain injury and got, you know, got captured by the X-Men and Professor X was trying to rehabilitate him and they were keeping him in a cell down in uh, the X-Mansion, like underneath the X-Mansion. Um, and then they also did a book called Sabretooth. And these are my some of my favorite stuff in the 90s. They did like, um, they did these books called Classics. I think they did X-Men Classics in the 80s and it reprinted like a lot of of the original X-Men, like the Roy Thomas and some of those earlier X-Men titles or issues. Um, in the 90s, they did a, a book called Sabretooth Classics. <clears throat> and they, I think it only lasted like maybe around 20 issues, maybe like 17 to 20 issues. And they basically, they reprint the first 20 appearances of Sabretooth in different books, like uh, Iron Fist and Wolverine number eight or 10. Or nine. So they reprint them in order of like all. He first appeared in Iron Fist. Then I think he fought Luke Cage. Then he fought Black Suit Spider Man. And then he fought Wolverine. And then he started becoming a Wolverine villain for that. Um, and I thought about getting that collection so that way I could get all of his early appearances without spending like a fortune. Um, but yeah, I thought about a saber tooth collection for for a little while now. All around us. But I want to finish my Ghost Rider collection first. I'm, I think I'm I'm missing two issues of the actual Ghost Rider series, which is issues 92 and 93, and I can't find them for less than like 40 bucks each. So I mean, I think I saw one for 20, but I missed it. It, it sold on eBay like really quick. Uh oh. Um. My name is Nui. I serve Princess Hatsu. Princess Yuki is underground. Oh. 
But uh, All right. what else? What else? What else? So yeah, the Sabretooth books. But the so I mean, Ghost Rider, I'm missing yeah, issue 92, time. 93, and then I, I think I'm missing the like eight books that I Dan know. Ketch has appeared in. Um, the Ghost Rider of the 90s, like it's like eight books that he appeared in. Uh, so I'm trying to collect those. And the other thing I started, I added to the collection is I found out that they took, there's some Ghost Rider stories from the 90s that they actually made in trade paperbacks. See, back when I was younger, graphic novels weren't really a thing. They would pop up every now and again, but but it was pretty rare. Um, oh, we're all the way back here, huh? This weapon's pretty sweet. Um, so, uh, so actually, they they did re reprint some of these Ghost Rider stories into small trade paperbacks. And considering I want a complete collection, I've added those to the list. So I got two of them: Cable and Ghost Rider teaming up. Cable from you know Deadpool and X Men. Um, so I have that issue, and then I have. Um, Ghost Rider or Wolverine, the first time they teamed up in Marvel Comics Presents. They it's called Acts of Vengeance, and they put all like eight issues in one little graphic novel. So I just got that on eBay for like five dollars. Oh, that can unlock stuff, huh? Man, that weapon's fast. Oh, shoot. Oh, it's the wind. Okay, cool. That's why it's so fast. Um, but then there's one more trade I gotta get. It's uh, two of them. Spirits of Venom. I didn't realize they made a trade paperback of the time Ghost Rider crossed over with Spider-Man and fought with Venom and stuff. Um, so the Spirits of Venom, I found one on eBay for like 20 bucks for that first print trade paperback. So, you know, at some point after I get paid, I'll probably add that to my buying list. Um, and then there was another one called X-Men Ghost Rider, and it reprints like three or four issues of when they crossed over. So even though I have all these in single issues, I just want to complete the collection by having the trades too. Uh, you a tree paperback or a Lucy kind of guy? I'll buy a tree paperback as a reader, but that's about the only reason. Um, it depends for me. Um, I, I actually don't care one way or the other as long as I I can read it. Um, so I'll buy digital, I'll buy a trade, and I'll buy um single issues. I don't care as long as I can read the story. It's pretty much the only reason I I do it. I rarely buy to collect. Um. I had pretty much forced myself to. So like Ghost Rider, I was like, that's just a collection I want everything of. I want every issue and everything. So um, I would say Ghost Rider is the only thing I really collect as a collector right now. Outside of like, you know, the Venom stuff I buy for the show. Um, but uh, but yeah, I mean, uh, to me, I don't actually don't have a preference. I like single issues, I like trades, and I like... Um, digital too. I like sitting in my bed with my Kindle um, which is backlit, you know. I can turn all the lights off. And... and I can just read. I'll read like, you know, four or five whole trade paperbacks on digital. To save on uh, my good singles. <laughs> there you go. Um, yeah, it's like some good singles, I agree. Like it's like if you if you really want to collect something, then it's like yeah, make sure you um make sure you get, you know, the the tray paperback then so you can read the story later. I just that's all I care about is reading the story. I just recently went to Digital for East of West. That's a good series. I've read the first, I think, five issues of that, and I really dig it. Um, Image has some good books out there for sure. I'm a, I'm, I'm definitely a fan. I mean, I'm a bigger, big Spawn fan. That's why I support Image really, is because of Todd McFarlane. Can I 
cut through any of this? Nope. I know we don't really have to go through all this again. I'm just doing it to uh, double check everything. Whoa. Princess Yuki's make a box, what? You animals. Duty calls. Nice talking to you, man. Hey, no way. Blown away by that series. Yeah, it's a good series. Well, thanks for talking to me, man. Thanks for keeping me company. Uh, you have a good night, dude. Oh, whoa. whoa. Thanks for popping in, Shagadoo. Uh, I will probably... Obviously, Resident Evil comes out next Thursday night, uh, going into Friday. So I will definitely be um, streaming it. So hopefully uh, we'll see you. Um, you know, for that stream, we're gonna play. We're gonna start Thursday night, and we're gonna go. I'm off Friday, so we're gonna play all through the night. So it's gonna be a full night stream. So I, I'm sure I won't beat this before then, because I think tonight and maybe Saturday are the only two days I can play this between now and Resident Evil coming out. Because then I also gotta work on videos and stuff. So, but hopefully we see you again in the future, man. Thanks for popping in. can make bullets now, yo. I'm glad we came all the way back up there, because even though it was just in that little chest in that room, I just want to make sure we get everything. Cool beans. Good night. Good night to you, too, man. Oh, man, another one. And another one. Come on, DJ Khaled. Blocked the first one, not the second one. Didn't expect them to be that fast. Jerk face. You a jerk? So it was, we gotta go down the other ladder. Okay. I was like, how do we get to that secret room where we walk through the wall and it's down at the bottom of this ladder? That rat. And I think that rat's from Resident Evil Code Veronica. I think it's the same rat. Um, do we have... Where's our um, holy armor? There we go. Look at this. Boom. Oh, somebody's ready to kill some folks. Next level up station, man. So 
So the girls are in that room, I think. So we don't need to go back in there. Because okay, that's where we started. Because I, I remember I wanted to backtrack, so I think this is forward. Yep. Oh, I thought that was going to hit him. You're safe, yo. Thanks for the herbage. Ooh. So if you ever see me accidentally pull up the map, it's because if you press down on the left joystick, it brings the map up. It's a little frustrating. Um, Alright, now we can finally open this door. Maybe this will be where that secret little key item is. Oh, what up? Oh, you jerk faces. That was good. They actually got me. They, they scared me a little bit. Oh. What an incredible creature this Nobunaga is. Normal animals would have already been dead from such a large transfusion of demon blood. I do not understand how the holy blood of the demons could be compatible with the body of a pathetic animal. How disturbing. Moreover, this Nobunaga seems to be highly intelligent and ambitious. Uh, he wasn't the slightest bit astonished when we resurrected his body. He fearlessly pledged his loyalty to Master Fortinbras, and he just made a vow to sacrifice his own species. He is an animal that should not be underestimated. If Nobunaga continues to offer sacrifices, we will not soon run out of test subjects for our experiments. Hey, Tyler Hell, what up, dude? How's it going? How are you? How are you? Uh, what in the F is this? Lightning jolts from the crystal. Oh. So you couldn't you couldn't come in here with unless we had all three weapons. Wow, that's disgusting. Okie dokie, here we go. What's up, man? How are you? Thanks for popping in. Okay. Totally normal. Good man, been a while. I've been able to watch you. I think you were moving and were playing uh, Evil Within 2. Wow, it has been a while. Um, yeah, that's over what a year now, maybe. Um, so I moved. I've moved probably twice then. I moved in with um, my friend Kevin um, right after or right around the time Evil Within 2 came out, and then uh, and then just recently, a couple months ago, I moved in with my my friend Victor. Um, so, uh, so I've moved actually twice since then. Uh, just, you know, trying to do what I can to, to survive, man. Um, but luckily my friend Vic, you know, needed a roommate, so it kind of worked out for the best. Um, but how are you, man? Appreciate you popping in. For sure, I feel you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I haven't really streamed that much either. Like when I lived with Kevin, I would stream from time to time, but uh, not as often as I used to. I started getting really heavy into making my YouTube videos, 
and then any spare time I had outside of that and work, I would try to write because um, I'm still working on this this novel that I started like two years ago, uh, where it was started as a comic, and then obviously I had to rewrite it, and then as a novel, and then I had to rewrite it again and again from there. So, oh, what the heck is that thing? Oh, these are the guys that split in two. There we go. Got some journals here. The Green Book. It is possible impossible to obtain the blood of a sacrifice. Or is it impossible to obtain the blood of a sacrifice? A dark ceremony is the holiest and darkest ritual that can be carried out between the demons and those pathetic animals. In the dark ceremony, the blood is taken from a chosen sacrifice. Then the demon king bestows his evil blessing upon it. Once the animal makes its pact, it drinks the blood from a grail made of human skull, and it receives the evil power it seeks. But nobody has solved the mystery of how the power is transferred to the animal through the ceremony. Ah, I want to know the answer. Why does no one understand my frustration? Once the mystery of the ceremony has been solved, that knowledge will be greatly advance our demon species. I believe I am the only one who can solve this mystery, and yet I am forced to waste my time on things that won't bring me closer to the truth. I just need one drop of blood. I wish Nobunaga would leave some blood after he drinks after he drinks it in the ceremony. Holy cow. We just got super busy during uh, um, G.O.W. Is that God of War? Um, so you just, just since that, I mean, I'm sure... I'm sure with God of War, yeah, definitely got to be, probably kept you going. I remember you mentioning something about the comic. Yeah, it's I've, I've been working on it, and then, uh, like about four months ago or three months ago, in I had to like it was a tough move too, because when I moved into this place, at the same time, uh, I can't talk too much about it because I signed an NDA and stuff. But uh, a friend of mine I used to work for, he's like a producer for, um, like a, you know a company, and he was like, hey, we we can't afford like a writer at a normal scale price. So, uh, and we're doing this kind of outside to kind of get a show started. You know, I I've read your book. I really liked it. I think you'd be a good writer for this. It's a horror story. And I'm like, what book did you read of mine? Cause I only write, I don't write horror. <laughs> so, I was, but he, I guess he liked my book. So I was like, uh, he was like, do you want to write the first, you know, the, the first episode, the pilot and you know, we'll pay you something and we'll, you know, um, and if it gets made, you know, we'll hire you on, we'll get you your writing credits for the Writers Guild and stuff. And I was just blown away by that opportunity. So I spent about two months doing that. Uh, and then I had a surgery at, at Thanksgiving and then um, now we're here, you know. I mean, I had some back problems recently, but I'm starting to heal up from those. So um, so it's been, a, <laughs> it's been a little bit of a bumpy road. But now I'm like, all right, this year I'm streaming. I'm going to stream a lot more games this year. Every month we're playing a Resident Evil game, starting next week with Resident Evil 2. Um, and then I'm playing this just because I'm bored tonight and I, I slept all day and I have work tomorrow. So I just want to do something fun before I go to bed. Um, yeah, God of War. Nice, man. That's awesome. Um, so did you refresh my memory? Were you um, working on God of War or, um, or just p playing it uh, so much? Uh, all right, let me, while you answer that, I'll read this. Orange Book. To carry out the Pact of Nobunaga, we have released large amounts of evil energy from Inibayama Castle uh, for several days now, but it seems that is not enough. We need to strengthen the seal around the castle and fill the area with more evil energy. <laughs> Why are they calling it evil energy? Just call it more energy. We, he, bad guys aren't supposed to say they're bad guys, even if they're demons. We must also sacrifice a girl born of that land, one with a noble heart. A girl has already been chosen, Princess Yuki. She is a fair... Co uh, complexioned human with long hair. She has beautiful internal organs, especially her heart. I can't think. I can't help thinking about her organs. They are the best of the best. However, if I dissect her, she will be worthless as a sacrifice for the dark ceremony. And if that happens, I will be eaten alive by the king. I have to give her up. Once the dark ceremony is over, every life in the area will be lost, including all human lives. In short, we will not have to worry about finding test subjects for my experiments for a while. Wow. And then we have more translation. Cool. Wow, this place got effed up. Yeah, I worked a QA on it before that. I did Uncharted. That's right. Yeah, man. Well, that's awesome. Well, I'm glad your hard work paid off because uh, although I have yet to have a chance to play that game because I just got a uh, PS4 right around the time Spider-Man came out. And... Uh, and so I'm not an Xbox player anymore. I have a PS4 now. Um, I actually had to sell my Xbox. I wanted to keep both, but I just didn't have the money. Um, uh, or I needed money. So I, that was the only thing I had to sell and trade in. 
Um, so I am a PS. So I plan on buying the God of War uh, franchise, but also, um, you know, the new one because I've heard a lot of good things about it. So hopefully this year I'll finally get the chance to stream it. Uh, that's so cool. I, yeah, I forgot you worked on it, man. And Uncharted. Now Uncharted I played, uh, but I played on like a friend's uh, PS4 before. Um, my friend Charlie, before he moved, I think we played Uncharted 4 together. Uh, but that's so awesome. Yeah, the guy who... Um, I follow the guy on... I'm on Twitter now. I, I, are we following each other on Twitter? Because I, I, um, I started following the... What's his name? Bal, Balrog? Or uh, the guy who's uh, kind of like the main dude behind God of War. Uh, I follow his Twitter account. And he seems like a really cool guy. Um, oh. Come here, soul. Uh, Corey Barra, uh, uh, Bar Barlock. Yeah, that's it. Sorry. Um, I'm, I'm sometimes really bad with names. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I do, you know, I'm, I'm new to uh, a lot of the... You know, I followed comics for so long that I... I don't always pay attention to who makes video games, but uh, I have been getting more and more into that um, over the past year. And uh, so, yeah, on Twitter, I decided when I created my account a couple months ago, I was like, you know what? I should follow more gaming people. And um, actually, that's um, that's the reason I got back on Twitter was because one of the developers of Resident Evil uh, 7 and 2 uh, was like, hey, you should you should follow us. Like, you should follow me on Twitter and keep in touch. Because I met him at Comic Con, and uh, I went to Comic Con for one day just to play Resident Evil Two. Was I supposed to get something in that room? Oh, I did get it already. Okay. All right. Um, but that's so great, man. I'm 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 so happy that you uh, you got that. So I'm sure you can't talk about your your next game, but I, are you on another game now? Um, are you on your next project already? Like I said, you don't have to tell me what it is, obviously. But this ain't me for fishing for information. <laughs> yeah, that's the reason. The only reason I have a social media is for networking. Yeah, and you know that was the one thing I kind of turned off social media to you know for like two years I, I was just on Instagram and I didn't use Instagram for networking I just posted personal stuff and that was it um, but it was about like six months ago I, I was like you know what I want to get I want to find a job in either video game like right now I work for Lego which I really love but um, I my passion is like comic books and video games and since I've already worked in comics for like 10 years um, I was hoping I could turn that, like if that script, that pilot gets picked up um, for the TV show, I was hoping to use that credit and be like, and go work on that show for like a season or two and then try to like, you know, try the really hard transfer into something like video games. But I know mostly video games, like you kind of have to have a background in it. So it's a, it's not an easy transition to make, but I'm just uh, trying to do something different because living check to check has been really hard on me and with the medical stuff and everything it's like I want to I want to stay on top of you know I want to stay ahead of all that stuff I don't want to have I don't want to continue to have problems as I get into my 40s uh, so so that's why I was like just like you said I want to start networking so if you are on Twitter follow me follow me and I'll follow you back so we can stay in touch not just to network but to stay as friends so that we don't you know another year doesn't pass before we talk to each other Um, in the last times that you see me though so I've been doing a YouTube show about Venom um, that's kind of my been my main thing I've been doing uh, and I, I created like 300 episodes in a year of uh, in the past year and the show kind of culminated when I went to see Venom the movie and Tom Hardy showed up and I actually got Tom Hardy to do an intro for my TV um, for my YouTube show and so now I kind of pump out Venom YouTube shows and I'm now I'm mostly primarily doing Venom content 
Uh, so I figured now that I got a hang of that, and I'm I can ab I'm able to pump out ep you know episode after episode, and we have the sequel coming out now with Venom vs Carnage. I'm keeping doing that, and I'm like a little bit kind of getting into journalism in a way, which is kind of funny because um, I never saw myself going down that path. But uh... wait, what's these ghosts are blocking the door and will not allow it to be open. It looks like the dead are screaming. But why do these tormented souls want to interfere with your mission? I guess we don't fight through them. Um, are you Venom Vlog? I am at Venom Vlog. That's me. No, I'm in between contracts at the moment, so I'm back in Iowa. Okay, sweet. Ooh, how is it there? Are you, uh, how's the weather in Iowa right now? Is it still cold? Beginning of the year kind of thing? I see some new types of animation storage near Josh's room. If we only had that, we could... What? They say some new type of ammunition is in storage. Yeah, we got that already. It's the bullets. I heard about a magic sword that protects against evil. Left by a monk. They say it kept somewhere. What is all this? Why are they telling me things that I already kind of have? Um, but yeah, I'm at Venom Vlog now. Yeah, in the 20s uh, is the weather. We have some snow, but this has really been the first real snowfall. Okay. Let's go find a save room, and we're going to save, and then we'll... Um... Here we go. Perfect. Exactly what I wanted. What the F? Alright, leave him alone for now. Copy that. So we're going to save. And I'm going to stop the stream. And I'll be right back. Like, I'm just... Because basically I'm going to edit... Yeah, I try to keep these around an hour each episode. And then I upload them to my second YouTube channel, my gaming channel. So, uh... So we're about the hour and 10 minute marker. So I'm going to stop this stream, but we're going to come back immediately. So if you just hang out in the chat, um, I'm going to go get a drink. but um, And then I'll be back in like 60 seconds. So uh, don't go anywhere, Tyler. If you're able to hang out, please do so we can keep talking. But if you got to go, I understand also. Everyone else, thank you so much for watching. I will be back if you're here live in 60 seconds. Uh, if you're watching later on YouTube, uh, definitely come back for the next episode and see what happens in the ongoing uh, drama that is... Uh, Onimusha Warlords. See you then. Peace.